What up YouTube, this is Zertrix, and um, I'm bringing you guys another tutorial. I know it's been a while, um, I haven't been putting out as much tutor tutorials as I used to be, but um, I've been a little lazy lately that I got my PVR, I want to make some gaming videos and whatnot. But um, yeah, about the gaming, just look forward to seeing some uh, great gaming videos, commentaries and stuff like that. But this tutorial is on how to split your text any way you want to split it, and multicolor, as you see I have the top left uh, green bottom right white so um you'll be able to make stuff like this it looks really good um i started doing this a long time ago and i just thought i'd rather or I, that i'd want to make a tutorial so i could share it with you guys but um yeah so i'm gonna make a new tab on photoshop and say this is a tab that you have your text on i'm just gonna use a basic font uh, come on the less letters the the shorter it will take with more letters, of course, it's going to take more time, but um, I'm going to go to my layers. Uh, I want to zoom in actual pixels. Let me drag this down a little bit. Oh, whoops, wrong layer. Alright, so on the text layer, uh, as you know, it doesn't let you erase anything. It has a little cross out thing. So you want to go to your text layer and right click it and hit rasterize type, and this will make it to where you could erase it. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do. Oh no, hold on. Fit the screen. Alright. Usually you want to make a little tool. Make like something like this. Oh, hold on, I can use the rectangle tool. Use the, the rectangle tool. Make a thin little skinny rectangle like that. Because that's what's going to um, split your text. That's how big the split is going to be inside of your text. You want to fill that in with a color that you can see. Black. Alright. So now you see I have this thin little black line if I want to split my text directly in half like that you put it right there but in this case I want to split it diagonally because it just looks better if you do it diagonal um, um, that's good enough alright so now you want to hold control click the little picture on that layer now you see it's a dotted line now I want to zoom in now you're going to go on the Z ZT layer then just hit delete on the text layer and hit delete and then hit the eyeball on the layer with the rectangle so it's not there anymore so you can't see it take the little the rectangle tool hit that alright now you see there's a split there's a line in between my um, letters so now what you're going to do is go to paths and if it has a work path just delete it alright now take your pen tool and you're going to pen tool the letters because this is how you're going to get it the letters to um, cinema 40 all right. I like to use guidelines. This isn't part of the tutorial. You don't have to use guidelines if you don't want. You can just go straight ahead, pen tool your text. But guidelines help you to keep it a little bit straighter. All right. So I'm gonna start it now. So as you can see, when I started pen tooling, it created a path, a work path, automatically. That's a good thing. All right. So you're gonna want to pen tool. Whoops around this crack. Mine's not going to be perfect because I'm not like taking my time like you should be if you're trying to make good graphics for your channel and whatever. So you see I have that one part pen tooled and it made a path. You're going to want to make blah, blah, I can't talk today. You're going to want to make a new path for the upper half of the Z. I get as good as I possibly can. I know this is going to look terribly ugly on freaking Cinema 4D because I'm rushing with it. Um, I highly suggest when you're doing this, um, actually trying to make it good, take your time because the pen tool is queer, I guess you could say. I don't know. The pen tool is annoying. Let's just say that. Alright, so I have the upper half. Now make another path so we can begin the T. Um, let me start the T, the upper half of it. get it as good as I possibly can alright so now that I have the upper half top half done make another path for the bottom of it um, I might want to put a guideline here and a guideline on the other side just so you have it matched up and even with the top half alright so this is about done Alright, so, whoops, control Z. Alright, when you're done, just go to File, Export, Pass to Illustrator, and this is how you get it to Cinema 4D. 
put that on all paths and I hit OK. I'm gonna save mine to my desktop. Untitled one. Yes, I'll replace. Alright, now go to your Cinema 40. Alright, file merge. You wanna merge it into your light kit if you use one. Um there you go, bring that in. Centimeters, you wanna put scale on one, keep it on centimeters, and keep those two boxes checked. Hit OK. And then you might have to zoom out a little bit and then bring it there. Come on. Alright, as you can see you got your two letters and they're split, so now you want to hit the plus sign. I have four paths, so I want to go to this little cube thing next to those two little blue ones and go to extrude nerbs. Um, if you can't see it, you might want to put it on full screen 720 HD so you can see it more detailed. Bring in four extrude nerbs. I could have just duplicated them, but all right. Now you put one path in one extrude nerb. You can't have two in um, the same extrude nerb. It just doesn't work out like that. Alright, so now that I have a path in each one, I want to minus them out just to make it less annoying. And now you see I have them 3D. Um, you could do stuff with them, like if you select just those little parts right there, you could put the caps on it like you can with um, normal text. Uh, I usually put caps, but for some reason these caps look weird on this. I think it's just because... Um, the fact that I made it so small on Photoshop. Alright, so you see I have that. Um, I want to make it thicker. Damn it. This isn't really like a main part of the tutorial. The main part was already over with. But this is just a little something so you guys can see what to do with it, what you can do with it. I like to put my width on something high, not 2000, but 200. Um, as you see, it looks pretty good. And then you want to drag a material uh, let's see which material do I want to use drag a material on the top half I know my Cinema 40 looks really weird when you put text on it or when you put colors on it, I don't know why it does that but for some reason it does so I just gotta deal with it two whites I'm gonna take off my render settings so um it'll be faster the render settings take a long time take about five minutes just for one set of text this isn't gonna look good I'm just trying to show you guys the basic I guess way that it's um split in half or whatever but with uh, some, good some good render settings it will look really good alright so it's basically that's basically it um, if you guys need any help any questions anything's not working right just let me know uh, message me on my YouTube I'll be happy to get back to you guys I help you out, add you on Skype, and uh, walk you through it if you need me to. But that's basically it. And your final picture should look something like this right here, if it's good and you put good render settings. And these are the the picture that you see right here that says text. Those are my old render settings, so I got really good ones now. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you um, enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it helped you guys. And um, uh, that's all I really got for you guys today. Um, Come back to my channel to see some more uh, Photoshop and Cinema 40 tutorials, as well as some uh, gaming videos, um, commentaries, episodes, and soon to be some live streams. So, um, yeah, I'm out. I'm glad that all of you guys are supporting me. I'm, thank you for a thousand subs, and I'm out. Peace.